Hi everybody, John Gill here from, from uh, John Gill Self Defense and Martial Arts Instruction. I'll stand back a bit here. We, I've got an exciting announcement to make. Reality TV series happening here with the family here. All right, Toe yeah. over here, say hello. Everyone start to introduce yourselves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rowan. <laughs> Rowan. Hi, I'm Ryan. And Ewan, say hello. Ewan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Everyone bow, ready, attention. Okay, good. So we get their family. Everyone's going to see their progression. It'll take a few years, but from white to black belt, okay? And you'll learn what we do and how safe the martial arts really is if taught the correct way. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We'll walk, first of all, you've just bowed. We've now been warming up. We'll warm up. It's, good. it's always good to warm up beforehand, even before the instructor, you know, before the class, always do warm up. Okay, let's pull that back a little bit. Your arms around. Make sure you've got plenty of distance. Always try and get a bit of distance between you. Six feet. Haha. <laughs> right. Family's fine. Okay, twisting. Twisting. So I'm teaching them the Korean arts of Hapkido and Taekwondo. Just for those who don't know, Taekwondo is a bit more of a uh, sport these days. It's meant to be self defense, which is okay. It still is with the kicks and everything, but it's probably more of a sport. It's an Olympic sport, obviously and uh, uh, very, very, you know, 70 or 80% kicking, all right? And Hapkido's like 50-50. A uh, bit of kicking, joint twists, wrist locks, more self-defense orientated, so that's a difference. But I'm gonna do a combination because they relate anyway. Taekwondo gives them the flexibility and the power. Hapkido will give them the self-defense skills to handle any types of holes and grabs. So you'll see a progression of learning all that as well. And I was fortunate enough to be taught by one of the best in the world, if not the best, as far as I'm concerned anyway, <laughs> uh, Grandmaster Sung Su Lee, that luckily came to Australia in 1974. And I was with him in the mid 80s from then on, it's been a fantastic uh, journey. Grandmaster Sung Su Lee, stretching. And I credit him for my world titles on that time of the one, because without good teacher, then, you know, it's a, you, you know, you've got, you've got to be a good student too. You've got to implement what they teach you, of course, <laughs> which I did. All right, twisting, and then stretching this way. My website's a marshallmotivation.com, and marshall as in martial arts, M-A-R-T-I-A-L, marshallmotivation.com, and USA School of USASchoolofselfdefense.com, and for Australia, johngill.com.au. But I do live in Los Angeles there. Now, you might have noticed an accent there. That's an Aussie. <laughs> so it's actually an Australian family, Australian family living in uh, LA. So there you go. <laughs> Classic. You want to introduce what a little bit? Okay, I'll take it easy then. Now I'll do a few leg raises. This is not a kick. Well, there's an axe thing called axe kick, but generally just a leg raise. And then side leg raise this way. Five inch leg or so, all right. All right. Okay, they know the basics already, so we'll go chumbi if ready position. So now I've already taught them basic self defense, which I think you've seen on a few previous uh, videos. Chumbi, ready position. Now we do the traditional martial art because they're getting ready to go for the yellow belt grading. Once they get the uniforms and everything, we do grade them. So from here, Chumbi, horse riding form, left palm out. So everybody can kind of form a straight line behind. That's it, just be careful of the pole, of course. Left palm out, and we come back, traditionally we come back to here. In reality, we always self-defense, or the word fight, I don't really like the word fight, but I suppose you have to fight back if someone fights you, or it's actually self-defense, keep their hands up. But this, this one will develop the power as well, or someone grabs your wrist, for example. So from here, you bring it to here, here, all this area around here where it's comfortable. Now I'm talking obviously Korean numbers as traditional. Hey, and key up as well. Hit, let the breath out. Say, hey, me, hey, das, hey, yas, hey, ilga, hey, yodo, hey, aho, hey, ul, hey. Good. So I do the first few movements with them, right? So they can shadow me. Then I turn. And I'll correct, so, you know, or talk, look at somebody. That's why I need to look at me. And I'll, and I'll rather than saying stop and do this, I'll go, I'll do that, for example. Right? And then you know, oh, I'm correcting you to do this. Mm -hmm. Rather than me saying, oh, stop, Rowan, now you must do this. 
right? <laughs> Everyone keeps going and then I correct and I'm like, look at them all looking at me and I look at them and go, you know, whatever technique it happens to be. Okay, so it's palm, all right, from here. Now we'll do punches, okay? Now, punching is not, you know, good thing to do unless you're really, really in trouble, but also you've got to be careful you don't complete knuckles as well, but generally into the throat or something serious, solar plexus, it works quite effectively against a serious attack. So let, okay, from here, horse riding form. Why we call a horse riding form? I think that's pretty obvious. Riding a horse, okay, both knees bent. Like my new sport pickleball, bending down. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, it's not a new sport, I've done that for a year now. Okay, left punch out. Now this time, make sure when you punch, curl and lock, curl and lock your thumb on top of your fingers. All right, from here, punching forward. forward that signal is eyes forward rather be again stopping the person saying now toe keep your eyes forward right that means eyes forward looking at the imaginary opponent all right chumbi chumbi ready position back to here that's right pick pick that shoulder width apart ready for the next technique okay right back center okay next technique we're gonna do basic movement all right stepping forward this is called long stance forward stance and the other hand comes back to the way. Now you can either bring it back as a fist or back as a palm, that's okay. I'm like, then, hey! This way, all right? From there, stepping forward. So we'll get you all moving back a little bit, actually. So one line there, which watch out for the pole. In one line, one line, cross, yep. Yeah. That's good. Okay, moving forward. All right, now, no, no, sorry, one line across in the order, yeah. So we move, move basically. You need, you want to take that off we're outdoors, yeah. So outdoors, your mask off is fine. Indoors, yeah, yeah. mask off. Okay, right back stands up. Now I'll just demonstrate first, okay? So this is demonstration. So then just watch me completely. Hit! Hit! All right, long stance, strong, bam. All right, palm strike, all right? Right back stands up. So guard stance, I like that open guard stance. Moving forward, palm strike. It can go into the, it can be a palm push even, into the solar plexus. It can be into the nose for a very serious situation if life's in danger. Hana! Hey! 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 Set! Hey! 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 Come on! Command just finish the movement you're on. Moving back, I'll show you on the video from here. Moving back, upper block defense, all right? From here, this is called back stance. Feet in line, both knees bent, but most of the weight's on the back legs. So I'm defending away from the blow. This would be if somebody tried to strike you. I'll show you. Somebody tried to strike you over the head. Like that with the poles. Now it's always better to move it away, of course. But if I had to, oh, you know, I had to put my arm up. I'd rather put my arm up to get hit in the head. But of course, you'd smash your arm. But you know, there's always been a evade. So, hap kid is a little bit more like that, more evasion. Typhoon is a bit more rigid. But, uh, you work both very quickly. Okay, moving back, Try and move forward from there. Move. Now, no shouting on blocks, okay? Now, to make that easy for you to remember, I'll just call it the numbers, English numbers, okay. one, two, three, four. No shouting on blocks. One, two, three, strong action. Four, up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seat behind you. 10, 10, yeah, good. Just be careful to move, come over this way a little bit. Yeah, good. Come on. Okay, that's actually okay. We'll have the adults, mum and dad at the back. Kids in front. We'll leave it like that. That's probably good for basic movement. That's good. We'll keep it there. Okay, now, from here, right back stance. Middle punch. Every martial art pretty much has a middle punch. So, hey! Hey! All right. So, this action. Now, reality... Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily punch up, but someone grab your wrist, for example, that's the perfect one to do. This is also a reverse punch, by the way. That gives you a lot more hip and power. This is what I talk about in tennis as well, with that hip forward. You know, that reverse punch as well. But I'll do a middle section punch. Moving forward, same arm, same leg. All right? Moving forward, middle section punch. Hana! Hey! No! Hey! Hey! Say! Hey! No! Hey! Das! Hey! Yas! Hey! Oh, that's going well, it's good, come on. Good, thumb, just thumb champion, good. 
Thump, good. Stay as you are. Wait, watch the demonstration. That's down over here. Moving back out to a block. Out to block. And try and lean. Don't be too rigid. Lean out of the way. Ready? Out of block. Once with the left leg forward. Wait. Punch it. One. No shouting on blocks. Two. Lean. Lean. So he's defending against the, the punch, but I'm leaning out of the way. So I can either strike or run away. Three. Lean. Four. Good. Other hand must come back to here. Action reaction. We get that power. There's no power to do that. This. This. This action. This action gives you power. Three. Arm up, angled, eyes forward. When I do that, if I point at you and do that, that means eyes forward, okay? Eyes. Four. And it helps you focus concentration too. You're not wandering. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Thumb, thumb. Nine. 10. Good. Come on, stay where you are. Good, stay where you are. Come on, this means finish the last movement. Just stay where you are. Good, now, demonstration, next, next technique. Next one's called the knife hand strike. All right, now, that's a bit, <laughs> a bit different with the styles. Taekwondo, we do it this way. <laughs> and half keto, we go down. We've got the half keto uniform on tonight, so we'll do the half keto one tonight, all right? You know they're learning both, but very similar, and they can do either one. So knife hand strike again in the carotid artery. That's extremely serious to hit someone there. So again, your life has to be in danger. These aren't anti-bullying techniques. These are like the save your life type techniques. We've got plenty of other non-aggressive stuff for anti-bullying, which Hap Keto has a lot of that in it as well, as time goes on. But you've got to learn your basics first, all right? If you get in a really serious situation. Strike you for here, everybody. We're gonna do the Hap Keto knife hand strike, which is from here in the ear, strike downward. Bring the arms up. Hey! And long stance, strong. Moving forward. Hana! Kia. Other hand back to the waist. So whatever goes out comes back. Alright? Set! Hey! Come chop down with tight fingers. Tight fingers as well. Very tight, alright? Men! Hey! Nasen! Hey! Yasen! Hey! Ilgo! Hey! Yodel! Hey! Eyes forward, head up. Taekwondo is very upright, Hapkido is a bit more flowing, but the basics are similar to both. This develops your power and your stances are right, very important, all right? And great exercise at the same time. Come on! Next technique, I'll demonstrate first. So demonstrations, expression. Down block, why a down block? Someone's trying to punch me or grab from there. So I'll do it slowly. The outside back. You can read up here if you want, back here, I don't mind. Anywhere you feel comfortable. That's This is traditional. Traditional martial art from here with the block. And that gives me more power than just doing that. It's see much more. Bah! The, the block itself could be a strike. I hit that pretty hard in here and they, they're gonna be going, oh. <laughs> and they won't be continuing the argument, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, so down block. If I'm chumbi to start with, easier. We go right leg back. Left down block. One, two, just look slightly first, and then we'll fire it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, from the shoulder down, from the shoulder down. Eight, nine, ten, eyes forward. So technically speaking, you shouldn't look down because if you look down, then they'll pop you here. So you should be using peripheral vision. This is where traditional martial art helps you with other sports, like my tennis and pickleball now, peripheral vision and driving. You can see things coming at you. It's amazing the reflexes and coordination develop from this type of sport. It helps you with other things in life, not just self-defense. Come on, my right back stands up. Demonstration, side knife hand strike. All the, all what I'm doing now, I'm not, I've already taught them the basic self-defense movement. This is to go for the yellow belt grading, okay? So side knife in. Hey! 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 Now open my hand up, palm up, and I'm twisting out for the power. Hey! Straighten the throat. Again, you're being raped or attacked, you've got to hit the throat. Throat, groin, eyes, nose, knees, 
vulnerable areas. Yep. Other areas, back of the neck, kidney, rib, down the shin, on the feet. Very easy just to strike and run away. Remember, self-defense, we don't have to fight. You're not getting, not doing 10 rounds of Mike Tyson or anything. <laughs> All right. Okay, side knife pad. Now the stance, this is horse riding form. Eyes forward. Horse riding form. Chop it out. Horse riding form, good. But no, both knees bent, champion. Both knees bent. That's it. Both knees bent. Very good. Hand out. Excellent. Good. Come on. Next technique, demonstration. So I've used the word demonstration. Look completely at me. We've done the upper block, outer block, down block, inner block. Okay. Maybe I've got time to move this way. And suddenly someone's coming. Maybe just demonstrate from here. But uh, okay. I've just got to grab. See, inner block from there. And now the one's the palm. Go to grab, just palming them away. All right? So there's your inner block and your palm block. The inner block's good as well. You can use that bone against their forearm as well, inner forearm. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Okay, from here, inner block from the ear demonstration. I'll do it in front of the camera so you can see the demonstration, then because you guys watch this quite regularly. <sighs> Slowly to the ear, to, the, to my ear, and across. Okay? To my ear and across. Okay, chumbi. We're going to put the right foot back and do the left inner block. We'll do it slowly first. One, slowly. Good. Two, three. Now quicken it up once you get the form and the technique. Four. No shouting, no. Five. Breathe, though. Should be breathing out. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Excellent. It really, yeah, it's excellent. That's really good. Okay, moving forward from there. So right back stance. Reverse knife hand strike. Have you ever thrown a shot put? Remember back in Australia, we used to do it at school, primary school. <laughs> a shot put for sport. That's the same action from here into the throat again. Or again, only for serious situation. We actually teach non-violence how to talk your way out of it, of course, as well. That's my Andy Bulling videos. But uh, of course, someone's viciously horrendously attacking you, you'll have to hit things like throats and eyes and nose, there's no choice. And then you run away, you don't have to stand there and do it 10,000 times. Okay, so from here, so human body's still quite strong, right? But you get stunned temporarily, which gives you time to run away. You've seen it in football, rugby league, rugby union in Australia, gridiron here, someone getting off, and they get the magic water out and they're fine. So from here, everybody, from the right hand back, cup it and come around into the throat, okay? Around. Hold up! Hey, 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 hand back to the hey, 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 the same for every technique. Now the hand must come back here. That's it. Hey, Remember, it's horse riding form. Horse riding. So right, both knees bent 50 50 weight. Whereas the other one, long stance is more that way, straight up. And your back stance is here. And that's a cat stance, by the way. Cat stance, like there. And your horse riding form or stance is both knees bent. Yes, sir. Hey! Ilga! Hey! Yodel! Hey! Come on! Moving back. If I do call command in the middle of you doing a movement, don't try to do this. <laughs> you can finish it, that's fine. Uh, but then stop as you go. Next technique, the same as what I demonstrated before. All right, I'm rolling. From there, I did a, a palm in a block. All right, palm in a block. Ready? We'll just do the first few slowly. One. Two. So slowly. This is the back stance, of course, back stance. 70, 80% of weight back. Three, whatever you're comfortable with, you know? Four, then faster, five, then faster. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, other hand back, and lean back a bit more so you're defending. 10, All right, excellent. So a combination, for example, if you got attacked, but we don't do the combinations for a white belt, but later on when you're yellow, orange, etc., different belts, we have stripes and all sorts of things. There's one, two, you know? One, two. All right, so you can do a combination, for example. But I'm not going to do that then with that yet until they get the yellow belt. Got to get the basics correct first. Come on, right back stands up. Right, now we're going to do elbow strike. We're going to do a Hapkido elbow strike. We're going to have Kido uniform today. At <laughs> other weeks, we've had my Taekwondo, Taekwondo's this way. Just my form, you know, it's more differentiating the art. Hapkido, because we do a lot of, in Hapkido, this is called the live hand. 
which gives a lot of pressure point work. All right, pressure points coming in onto the pressure point, for example. So in the elbow strike, to get used to the live hand, it gives it more key energy, more power. That's why it's hot key do, more key energy, internal energy as well. We strike hey, this way. Hey, all right, and long stance, all right? So elbow into the hapkido one today. And last time I showed you the closed fist, now with the open hand. You don't then revert into a uh, joint lock. Today. Okay, right back stance. Just normal the hand, hand up, then coming forward. Hand up. Hey. 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 Come on. Excellent. Now the block coming back is a downward palm block. Again, maybe this time you're coming more this way. Yeah, grab it. Push down, okay? Go, grab it. Push down, okay? So downward palm block. One, two, three. We'll do a cat stance in this one. So you get used to a cat stance as well, which is all the way back. And I've got this foot up and I can quickly do a kick, for example, from here. Snap it out, for example, if you had to defend your one, two, Three, cat stands in, boom, for example. Four, five, six, just down, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, everyone got a right foot back stance. Concentrating, right foot back. Okay, champ, come up. Good boy. Right foot back. All right, from here, we're gonna do a side elbow strike. So maybe someone grabs like this, or you know, turning and side elbow this way, or stepping in. Hey, it's hey. coming in so slowly, coming in. See so how they, they come across for the power? See how I can do this? All right, I bring in so I get the power. Out, in, out. Similar to you know all of this. All right, side elbow strike. This time we're doing the Hapkido one with the open hand. All right, open hand, open fingers. Hana! Hey! 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 50-50 weight, horse riding form, just checking. Now we'll do the open fingers because we're doing an elbow strike. Yes, it! Hey! That's it, good, come on. Moving back, X block. I think I've taught you this one before, so we'll do it tonight. Someone went to kick you, like underneath, you can catch, and then grab their leg. Wait, so they, of kicking. Yeah, you like, have to do kicking next, that's awesome. So from here, kick, they grab, then grab their leg to stop them. Then you can kick back, for example, if it was self-defense. Always move out of the way, always evade, Always evade a move if you can, but sometimes it might be a sudden attack. Oh, you don't have time to move, so you have to use your arms and block. But if you get used to moving at the same time as a block, much better, you know? Evade and move and block at the same time. So, ready from here? Demonstration. Come back and shoot down with tight fingers. This must be tight, not the open ones. That was just for the more of the pressure points. Of it. Just down this way. So, down. Okay, ready? One, two. Three, four, five, from here, all the way to here, and then shoot, six, tight, and leave a gap so you can catch the leg. Seven, eight, eight <laughs> nine, ten. <Hey>. <laughs> One of the neighbors just yelled out. <laughs> One of the numbers, that's very funny. All right, thanks for the help, mate. <laughs> that's very funny. You started yelling out, eh? Sorry? That's an hourly Oh, really? Well, that's good. He's even got better protection. Tell him to come and learn some moves. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, one of the police savers. Okay, come on. Chumbi. Excellent. Okay, so there's a basic movement there. Now we do kicking. All right. Okay, everyone come forward. So that's their basic movement. That's their basic movement to go from white to yellow belt. All right. We don't know how long it's going to take yet. We'll make them work for it. I don't let anyone, I don't believe in letting someone go for grading and then failing them. So we've got to, I do a lot of pre-testing to make sure they're ready. Then I invite them to go to grading. All right? That's the way, then I know they're going to be okay. Do you want to do like, um, fight with someone? No, no fighting, no, no. 
Okay, no sparring. This is non-contact at the moment. Very important to work that. Chumbi, see everyone thinks of martial art as fighting all the time, it's in the ring, but it's, it's actually, you learn to control yourself first. And we're gradually being in three steps sparring, non-contact, non-contact, you know, light contact and then full, you know, if you, if you want to, you know, it's, it, as time goes on. It is good to do that with pads on eventually, but you've got to be into it very slowly. All right, so you don't get hurt too. <laughs> All right, chumbi. So chumbi, this is why I like the chumbi, the parallel, but chumbi, left foot out and then up. Just like this one. Chumbi, that means ready position. Korean. Right back stance up. I like uh, the the open stance. Actually, like uh, Ip Man, actually, the Wing Chun type style chance stance. By the way, Hapkido is actually a combination of Taekwondo, basic karate, Jiu Jitsu, Kung Fu. All right, so it's a bit more of a combination, all right? Aikido, so it's a, it's a great combination of everything. But I like the non aggressive stance because in a real situation, you're not going to go like this. You know, you're not fighting and defending. So you just talk to them like this and suddenly you can change it to whatever you want to do. All right, so with the hands up from here, right foot back. Now we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this very slowly. We're just gonna come up and kick with the ball of the foot. There's a couple ways of doing it underneath as well, if they're open, a bit more open, but we'll just do a ball of the foot kick. But it's the first, always do the first few, just get the technique correct first. Don't go bullet the gate and try and rush because it'll end up bad technique. You've got to do it slowly. It's like tennis and stuff. You do that right technique first and then build it slowly. Right back stance. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. And just do it in your own time. Just get a feel before we get to... Because sometimes the numbers is good, but it, it don't, I don't want to rush them either. I want to do the right technique. So let's, get, let's watch that. In your own time. In your own time, so that means you're just doing it. Yeah, good boy. That's fine. Kick a bit higher than that. Switch legs, Ryan, if you need to. Okay, so we 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 see it's a bit like they're kind of like you know bringing the neck down. We need to keep everything very upright. We need to keep everything very upright. Okay, we don't want to switch down, switch down to get kicked in the head then. Just the, and bow, and I don't lean back either. If you're trying to kick too high, you'll end up leaning back like you have four, which is not a good thing. So you've got to see how I'm just about, watch how I'm balanced. Hey. Hey. Did you just hey. see hardly anything lean or move? Hey. Yeah, I'll still kick fairly high. See that? Hey. Hey. So don't compensate hey. technique to go for height, particularly this stage, because in reality, in self-defense, you're gonna kick low anyway, groin hey. and blow, or stomach and blow. You know what I mean? You're not gonna kick someone in the head. But for sparring in Taekwondo, yeah, of course, as a sport, of course. But you're protected by refs and uh, pads and everything else. On the street, yeah. you're not protected. So you don't want to fall over. Okay, now I'll do it by numbers. Right, Chumbi. Let's have a look at them doing it. Here we go. Chumbi, come back next to Rowan. Toe, yep. Here we go. The family that sticks together, sticks together. <laughs> Chumbi! And this is where the children, we need everybody to show complete discipline. This is where the discipline aspect comes into martial art and the concentration of focus. Right back center, up! Front snap kick, hit up! Eyes! Set! Hey! Eyes forward, net! Hey! hey. Toe, eyes forward. Dasen! Hey! Hey! hey. Yasen! Hey! hey. Ilga! Hey! Yo, that's better. Hey! Aho! Oh. Hey! Hey! Ul. Hey! Concentrate on keeping your body upright. I'd rather see the kick go lower than trying to go too high and everything else is moving. Chain stance up! Okay, doing well, they're doing well. They've only had like six, seven lessons. Hana! Hey! 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 Set! Hey! hey. Wait for the call. Oh, that's part of learning auditory listening as well to instructor. That's it! Hey! Knee hey. up! Yes, it! Hey! hey. Hey! Yodel! Hey! Aho! Hey! Should be in the other leg. Other okay. leg, change stance, yeah. Hey! Come on, Chumbi! Everyone do this. If you're watching, do this at home, you can practice at home. Just do this. Don't move your eyes. Don't move. We do this with kids with, they had a lot of tension deficit and things like that. We just got them standing there like this. 
<laughs> not breathing, not breathing is the only thing you're allowed to do. <laughs> you're allowed to breathe, of course. Not moving, let's go, eyes forward. Whatever I do to you, do not get distracted. There you go, see? Don't get distracted. See, they all smile. When they're black belt, you'll see them completely, mm. even before that, actually. <laughs> all right, here we go. You'll see the transgression in the, uh, Oh, it's fantastic. I've done this to thousands of students over the years, and you'll see what, what, what we can do for you as well if you ever do martial arts. Very good for you. Non-contact traditional system. Don't worry about getting in the ring and beating someone up, all right, or getting beaten up. <laughs> this is very good for you, and it works for self-defense too. All right, Shumbi. The next kick is a 45 angle kick, okay? Unfortunately, if someone did come in this way, we twist and kick, say if there was two attacker, for example, in this, you're dealing with this one, we kick eh, as this one came in to attack me. Eh, and it does work, I've used it in real situation and it did work. <laughs> All right, okay, hands up. Right foot back, twisting kick or 45 angle front snap kick. Finish. Chain stance up. A little jump, still chain stance. Good. 45 angle kick this way. So 45 this way. Or twisting kick. But eyes are forward because technically you're dealing with someone here, which is a bad situation to happen. And someone else is coming in. Hey! That's why I don't go on the hey! ground because their friend ever tries to help them. If you're on the ground trying to grapple them, he'll kick in the head. I know that some people say that the fight's in up on the ground, but they start standing up. All right? You've got to learn to stand up. I know there's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, that's fine, it's a sport as well, but you've got to know you stand up and not to get on the ground. Get them on the ground, you get away. If you get on the ground, teach each other that too. Hana! Hey! 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 Set! Hey! Net! Hey! Dasset! Hey! Yasset! Hey! Ilga! Hey! Yodel! Hey! Aho! Hey! Uh! Hey! Change stance! Lower cross kick, lower cross kick. If you're in close, somebody may be pushing against a wall or something and you can't, maybe they grab your hand, they can't, can't move. Boom, straight into the ankle or the knee, lower cross kick. All right, by numbers. Hana! Hey! Do it! Hey! Set! Hey! Me! Hey! Das it! Hey! Yas it! Hey! Ilga! Hey! Yodel! Hey! Oh! Hey! Ul! Hey. Toe, this one across, this one's across, across the body. Always start the first few slowly, get the technique, and then it's called lower cross kick. More of a hapkido kick than a taekwondo kick. Taekwondo, as you probably know, is more high kicking, all right? Okay. Still with similar kicks, all right? Okay, from here, left back stands up. First few slowly, come across here. Hana! Hey! Hey! So! Hey! Set! Hey! Nerd! Das it. Hey! From here. Yas it. Hey! Ilga. Hey! Yodel. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey. Uh. hey! Come on! Right back stands up. Tumbi. Watch your next technique. Someone again pushes you against here, for example. I'm tied up. From here, I can't I can't get any kicks in. Maybe they're pushing into a wall. I come in behind them, behind their leg and hook. Oh, I'll just demonstrate from here. All right, I'll do it a little bit closer. Coming in, hook behind their leg. I'll demonstrate from here. Hook and push them at the same time. Called lower heel kick. You can go into the knee on this one, or you can trip them behind the back of the leg. Lower heel kick, ready? First few, just do it in your own, or do it. So when you're teaching a new kick, those instructors are watching, <laughs> um, just do it slowly. Don't, the numbers is only to pump them up once they know the right technique as well. Now this is a fairly new one for them, so because uh, I'm only teaching the other ones for. So I'm going to do it slowly. One, two. Now in your own time, continue in your own time. I went once before. Yeah. Three, keep going. Your own time. We have done that regularly, done a few times. So once before, good. Lower heel kick. Good. So that's in your own time, which is a good way when you're learning a new technique rather than, you know, and they kind of go, Ugh. it's good to martial arts pump it up, of course, <laughs> get motivated and get excited. 
Chain stands up. Again, lower heel kick to slowly. That's it, to slowly. And then later. In what, in what situation hey! can you just explain? Just explain it. So I was pinning you up behind their leg. I'll show it wrong. Here, I'm grabbing the knee pain behind the leg, okay? So I'll show you from here. Yeah. Alright? Well, particularly if they're pinning me against the wall, I can't use my hands. I'm tied in or something and kind of pinned up. But if you're good enough, you shouldn't be in that position in the first place. If someone pins you against the wall. <laughs> okay, let's go. When well, you're grappling, you might be in a, in a grappling situation, right? Where they're trying to get you to the ground, whatever, or you know, even in some tournaments, judo and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, then you can trip, push them down. Okay, so you tournament fighters out there, you can the ones to trip them down with. Okay, come on. Change stance, if you like one slowly, we'll have a drink break, rest break. In your own time, Susia. Okay, in your own time, a few more. That's uh, so just the other side, yeah. All right, and a few more. Come on, Chumbi. Parallel, tension. We'll have a drink break now, we'll get on some bag work. Chakunde, stop. Okay, well done. 